Creating custom CSS arrows or angular shapes using CSS is really very fun. We are going to use CSS custom properties or what we call CSS variables to create our custom arrow shapes so that you can modify its direction, size and color by simply changing a single variable. Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, we are going to create some CSS arrows. So next time you are working on some sliders, navigation menus or maybe drop downs or maybe some other UI components. You don't have to include the glyph icons just to include arrows in your project. The best thing is that you can animate them very easily. So my friends, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see that we have this index.html file and inside the body element, I want to create a span element and give it a class of an arrow, hit tab and save the file. And if you can see, we have the preview right here. And if you look at the CSS file, we have a very basic styling and kind of centering this content available on this document to both vertically and horizontally and I am also giving it a linear background that you can see here. Now my friends just target the arrow class and let's give it a border left property and set it to 0.5 rams solid white and border bottom should be 0.5 rams and this should be same and hit save and now you're gonna see a scale shape let's go ahead and give it a specific width i'm gonna give it a two rams of width and one ram of actually two ram of height also these two values needs to be same now you're gonna see an angular shape here let's transform and rotate it by 135 degree to create an upward arrow now let's go to the index.html file create an up class for this and simply copy this and paste it three times change the up to right for the second value down for the third value and left for the fourth value Let's go to the style.css once again and here we have to kind of change the directions of all of these arrows. So what we can do is that we can go ahead and say up and simply copy this value, paste it here, say right again paste that value and change its direction to 225 hit save and it's gonna create an arrow pointing towards the right so now we have to create the down arrow so go ahead and target the down class and paste the transform value here and set it rotation value to negative 45 and now you're gonna see that down arrow has been created now to create the left arrow we can simply go ahead and set its value to 45 degree and now you're gonna see that we have created the left arrow let's apply some margin between these arrows so arrow plus arrow and margin top give it 4 ms of margin and you're gonna see we have applied the margins and now we have successfully created all of the arrows so my friends this is how we can create different css arrow shape or angular shapes using css only now if you want to learn how to take this a little further using custom variables or css variables continue watching this video where we are going to learn how we can change the size and color and rotation of all of these arrows by using single variables so let's go ahead and see how we can do that let's go ahead and 
look at um, look for the repeating values for example we are repeating 0.5 rams two times two rams two times and you you can see that we are also re repeating this transform property again again and again and here we are also repeating the color values so let's go ahead and fix this first of all i am going to create a variable called border size and i want to give it a border size of 0.5 ram and let's give it another value called size and i want to set it to 2 rams great now replace all these values using the variables that we have created simply copy and paste do the same for this width where size copy paste it here now hit save you're gonna see nothing changes that's great now if you want to kind of change the size of this arrow you can modify by using just this border size variable but to be able to do that we have to also link this size variable somehow to this border size so what i'm gonna do here is that i'm gonna use a calc function and instead of using hard coded value of two rams let's go ahead and use the border size variable to link the size variable so where border size and multiply it by four rams and hit save now if you go ahead and change this single value you want to see how the size of all of these arrows are modifying or decreasing and if i want to increase it i can simply put one rams and we're gonna have some larger arrows great now you want to see we are also repeating this white color so let's go ahead and cut it say where give it a uh, color and paste it right here again where color paste it here now simply create a color variable and just set it a custom value so in this case i'm going to use f9 f8 six seven six eight hit save and you're gonna see we have changed the color without changing these two values instead we are just modifying a single value that's great now let's go ahead and fix this repeating transforms so what we can do here is that we can simply use another variable here where direction and let's go ahead and give it a fallback value of zero degree hit save you're gonna see nothing changes right now and now let's go ahead and instead of using this transform simply use direction and set its value to 135 degree do the same for all of the other so i can say direction 225 degree direction negative 45 degree and once again direction 45 degree and i forgot that now if you hit save you're gonna see again nothing changes so this was really simple and we have kind of used the css variables or custom properties to create css custom shapes and in this case custom angular arrows using just pure css so it was really fun so friends i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you do like this video you can just go ahead and share this video with your friends and like this video comment your thoughts in the comment section and i also want you to subscribe to the channel for getting more useful content like this thank you for watching the video see you soon in my next video thank you